we're going to look at now are a few real world examples of applications that Virtuoso has been used to test. So the first one here is looking at a banking website. So this is obviously a customer facing platform or website to be able to go through in this case and apply for a loan. So this gives a good example about how Virtuoso's natural language, language syntax can be used to author tests to be able to start going through, in this case, creating a loan application on a banking website. Where things are being done, such as we're using some test data here to be able to drive applying for loan amounts, where the test data in this case comes from data tables that have been uploaded, CSV files, to create parameterized data, in this case, the loan amounts with the expected APRs, where those parameters have been mapped from the test data, in this case, our test data table with our parameters to be able to write, but then also, in this case, assert. So by looking for the APR amount from the test data to assert that that is on screen and therefore by changing the loan amount, I get the expected APRs. You can see here we're using storing data. So we're storing the key facts text here into a variable and then asserting that it does contain the correct value. We can do things like interacting with, in this case, checkboxes using element guest selectors and hints. But then also coming through, we're able to do things like look for a particular element and then click on a multiple. So here, even though there are three yeses on screen, by providing the context with look for, I can interact with the correct element. And then we can see here we're also using API calls. So by making a call in this case to get a uh, token that can be passed into the next API call in context of the functional journey that it's being tested within. So another example here is testing against their Google website, where this is actually testing on multiple languages. And so in this case, instead of writing in the values we expect to see, we're again driving this with test data. So whether we're coming in and looking for the hints that appear in boxes, whether we're looking for the text that appears on screen. For instance, we're looking for you don't have a profile here. So we're looking for that based on this being the English language. It's a test where we're writing one test using parameters which come from test data to then execute this test with test data, which is actually testing on different languages. So we've got test data set up with four different languages, English, Italian, um, Polish, and German, where all of the elements we see on screen are added as variables so that when this test is written and we want to assert that these are present on screen, it can do that even though we're just running one test against that site. Then in this case, we're testing a business system, Salesforce. As long as it's browser-based, it can be tested. So whether it's Salesforce, SAP, S4HANA, or other business systems, being able to come in, do the login steps, using in this case an extension to use the Authenticator app to get an OTP, and then write that OTP into the uh, field, and that's dynamically being generated. But then being able to interact with common elements like the app launcher or the show navigation menu, and then go and interact using random data generation. So in this case, generating a random number to then store with an expression into, in this case, an account name, and then go ahead and write those values into fields. So basically interact with the Salesforce uh, forms. So being able to go through and actually make pretty extensive end-to-end -end tests with lots of different areas, but making sure that when these run, because we are collecting all of the element selectors available for each of the elements, combined with Virtuoso's self-healing, even where the IDs are changing, maybe the uh, structure of the element changes, indeed in Salesforce every time the page loads, these tests keep on running without having to fix them. Quick to write and quick to uh, maintain without a manual burden for doing so. And then finally looking at an e-commerce store, where in this case it's both to test a, an end-to-end -end user flow, so pick a product, add to the basket and go to the checkout, but also using Virtuoso's, Virtuoso's visual regression testing. So capturing snapshots every time the test is run to be able to firstly capture a snapshot of a baseline, how the application should look or the site should look. And then on each release, running that again to capture the current snapshots and then showing any changes which can be viewed on a visual regression basis. 
So it could be changes to images, could be changes to pricing, but also to content and copy, for example. So a good example of how Virtuoso can also be used for functional end-to-end -end integration, but also visual regression testing.